Hi guys, welcome back again. It's Russell the Prezi Guy here with your final video for the Prezi Beginners playlist. Now, if you don't know what I mean by that, then you've probably got to this video via the interweb in some way. And what you need to do is just stop this video and go back to video one in the Prezi for Beginners playlist. This whole playlist is aimed at helping you master Prezi and get to grips with the software to, of course, improve your presentations. Now, in this final video, we're going to look at sharing and collaborating. By now, we should have a really lovely looking Prezi all about the plastic pollution within our ocean. So a very serious subject, but nevertheless, a really beautiful looking Prezi. And what we're going to do now is share that with people. That's going to be the final thing that we'll look at together. So let's go. So here we are in our great looking Prezi and the last area to look at is the share option at the top. So by now, if you followed all of the videos in this playlist, you would have gone through the style menus with me. We would have also looked at the insert menu and of course, now we're going to look at sharing. Really, really important. You want to make sure that any effort you put into building your Prezi um, is worth it. And of course, sharing your Prezi is a great way to do that. We want to make sure as many people as possible get to see our wonderful Prezi presentations. So of course you can present Prezi in person, uh, whether that's over a Zoom call or a Microsoft Teams meeting, it's very, very easy to do. But there will be the odd occasion where you want to send someone your Prezi for them to view it in their own time. This is something I do an awful lot. So to make that happen, I just click the share option and I click on view link. I'm not going to mention the present option here. That does exactly the same thing as the button we've been using up in the top right. So we're going to go straight to the view link. If I want to send my Prezi to someone, I click on this button to create a new view link. So I'm going to do that now. And maybe I'm sending it to a group of people. It doesn't necessarily have to be just the one person. So let me call this my uh, Prezi subscribers group. Maybe there's a group of people out there who I know are all subscribed to my Prezi group and um, I want to send this link out to those people. Um, one thing that I can do because I have a paid for license and one of the higher level licenses as well, I can actually have Prezi Analytics switched on. Now this isn't something that everybody needs, but it's an amazing tool, especially if you're in sales. Now salespeople will be able to actually track uh, where and when and for how long people are clicking on the different parts of their Prezi. It's an amazing feature and really, really useful if you're in sales or even internal communications and you want to track that everyone has looked at your Prezi and spent the amount of uh, the right amount of time in it. Now I'm going to switch that off for now though. I don't need that switched on for every single Prezi link that I share. Then I'm going to press create link. And here we go, we've got the link at the bottom of the screen. I can click the copy button and I can do one of two things. I can just send that to an individual or I can send it to the specific group, so my Prezi subscribers group. Or if I want to, I could just share this on social media. The people who have that link um, from me can also share it on their show social media. So before we know it, we could actually have quite a few thousand people looking at our Prezi's. So that's really ideal. That's the sort of thing that I try and do when I'm promoting the work that we do here at the presenter in terms of our Prezi design services and things like that. Um, but it's entirely up to you. One thing that you can do if you are a bit worried about that link being shared too much and you do want to keep that under control, you can deactivate the link at any time. So maybe copy the link and paste it in an email to a big group of people, tell them in the email that they've got two weeks to view it, and then set yourself a reminder. And when those two weeks are up, simply 
deactivate the link really really simple to do I'll do that now and deactivate that link so now we have no more links for people to view my Prezi it's completely locked down and completely private and that's one thing I should mention if you're using a free Prezi license or you're on the free trial you will not be able to create Prezi's and have them completely locked down and secure so if you want any kind of security whatsoever you do need to pay for a Prezi license it's really really important now one of the things that I do with my team an awful lot is collaborate so if I click on the collaborate option you'll see that at the top of the screen here uh, you may not have this option if you are just um, one user but I'm part of a Prezi team so I can actually click this button at the top and I can give everybody in my team access to this Prezi so maybe I want them to just be able to present it maybe I want them to add comments and give me some feedback on what they think or maybe if they spot any mistakes or maybe if they spot the mistakes I want them to fix them so I'll give them full editing rights so I'm gonna do that now now if you're not part of a team or if you have someone that you know has a Prezi license but is outside of your team or even outside of your business that you do want to collaborate with you can just put their email address in the bottom of the screen here so I'm going to add the um, email address for uh, my studio manager here at the presenter thepresenter.com and I'm going to give them full editing rights and press the add button now that's going to really confuse them because in two seconds they're going to get an email from Prezi that says um, Russell has invited you to edit this presentation so I'm going to press done to that and there we go I've now got some collaborators that will be able to jump into this Prezi as and when they need to to help me build it out even more and finish it up now there's no limit to the number of collaborators that you can have in Prezi and I would really encourage you that if you are on a tight deadline uh, if you have got colleagues that know how to use Prezi even to a basic level um, try to use that to work together so me and my team have had situations where we've had a phone call on a Monday there's a urgent presentation needed for the Tuesday afternoon so we've actually all worked together in the same Prezi at the same time just to meet that deadline and get a great result so it really really does work if you go about it sensibly now the next few options in here are um, first of all live Prezi so live Prezi doesn't get used that often but you can see as you click that option you get a link so my link for live Prezi is prezi.com forward slash live forward slash the presenter and I can copy that link I can protect it with an access code if I really want to as well but I can copy that link send it to a client of mine and then press start live Prezi now this is almost like a micro version if you like of um, let's just say zoom so rather than having a zoom call with webcams and everything we can just send them the link to this Prezi start a live Prezi and as I click through the Prezi on my laptop whoever's viewing it at the other end we'll see it moving so I can just pick up the phone speak to them at the same time and talk them through this Prezi design that we've made for them really really useful but it's unlike things like Zoom or Microsoft Teams there is no webcam option it isn't really an online conferencing tool as such but if you're just presenting to maybe one person or you want to talk them through your presentation then starting a live Prezi is a great way to go about that final option in the sharing um, tab here is Prezi video now I'm going to hold off talking about that because I'm going to create a whole series of videos about the Prezi video software because that is a different way to present um, still using all of the uh, features and skills that I've taught you in uh, this playlist for beginners but a very very different version of Prezi so I'm going to leave that for a specific playlist and create some videos around that as quickly as I can but that's all you need to know about sharing one thing that I also want to show you guys 
is the Prezi desktop software because there might be some occasions where you need a completely offline version of your Prezi and that's where Prezi desktop comes in useful. So I'm going to minimize my web browser. I'm using Google Chrome to build this Prezi at the moment and I'm going to open up Prezi desktop. So here it is at the very bottom of my screen. So here's my plastic pollution Prezi and if I hover over this you'll see that there is a play button to present it but to the right of that there's this little information button, these three dots. I'm going to click on that and that will take me into a screen that gives me all of the information about this Prezi. So I have um, a list of the collaborators at the top. I can share it again if I want to. I've got the viewing link there that was created. And on the bottom right hand corner, I can actually create an offline presentation. So if I hit the export button, I can create a Mac or a PC version, uh, or a Windows version, I should say. I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to export this and I'm going to just save it to the desktop of my machine like so. So that's already exported for me. If I just minimize the Prezi desktop software here is the file that got exported. It's a zip file. I can just double click that to extract the contents. There we go. And if I open the folder you can see inside that there is actually a Prezi file. And if I double click that Prezi file, just press open to that message. Here is the Prezi exactly the same as it was in our Google Chrome browser. I can click through it in exactly the same way. The only difference here is that there is no way to edit this. So this is a completely standalone offline version of your Prezi. The good thing about this though is that there's no way for anyone to break this, edit it, extract the content um, or to kind of plagiarize it in any way. So if you do have a large sales team and you want to send out your, your presentation to them, this might be a great way to go about it because you know you're not going to end up with a hundred different versions of it by the end of the month once you've sent it out. So again, you can only do that through the Prezi desktop software and by pressing the information button here on the right and coming into this screen. You can also export a PDF version of your Prezi if you want a flat version that just doesn't move for whatever reason. Sometimes that might be useful uh, if you just want to email some stuff through to people to remind them of some of the visuals that you went through in your live presentation with them. Okay guys, so that's the final video in this Prezi for Beginners playlist. I really hope you found it useful, but as always, please, please, please hit that like button now so that we can get more exposure for this channel and get more people mastering Prezi and delivering better presentations. That's what this is all about. That's what I am all about. So please make sure you're subscribed, share the videos, let other people know they exist. We really need to up the presentation game for the entire globe. It's a really, really important issue that I'm trying to address as much as I can, but I need your help to do it. I really hope you found this series useful with me. There will be tons more videos coming to this channel. I'm going to go through advanced Prezi techniques, Prezi video, how to use Prezi on iPad, some tips and tricks that me and my team use, and of course, as and when Prezi launches new features, I'll make sure to cover them with you on this channel. So make sure you're subscribed and comment below if you have found this video and all of the others in this playlist useful. I will see you in one of my other videos sometime very soon. Take care.